Hey guys, and welcome back to Crimson Skies. When we last left off, we were introduced to the Fortune Hunters and the Raging Cajuns and a deal that went bad. And did I say and enough then? Hmm, possibly. Anyway, we've arrived at Sea Haven and we have come looking for our pilot who appears to have buggered off somewhere. So, let's go find Big John. We did find all of the tokens, and we earned enough money to upgrade the ship, so we're in pretty good standing. We also looted a few zeppelins as well, which was fun. Okay, so it looks like a beautiful morning. Let's go hit up some missions. Blue arrows, mark the way. So what have we got going on here? Oh. Hey, Zachary. Welcome to the Bandit Rush Challenge. Ooh. How much should we wager? Ooh. So we can... I think we can bet up to half of our money here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go get some more money. And I'm going to see if we can actually uh, bet more money than that. Because this is quite an easy challenge to do. And quite an easy way of getting some early money. So let's go rob these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on. I hate to do this, guys. Oh, look. You can see there's, um, as I said in the last video about the scars that we can set fires on the actual zeppelins and things. And it actually burns away the skin of the aircraft. There you go. Just like that. It's really cool. You are screwed. You are really screwed. There's no way you're going to stay in the air, my friend. There we go. Let's go shake you down. And there's another one below us that we can shake down as well. There we go. Beautiful. Because I'm pretty sure you can gamble up to half of your money. I think that's how it works anyway. Now where is... I wish... The second analog stick could be used to look around the craft. Unfortunately, it can't. I uh, might as well shake this guy down as well. Why not? Whoa, shoot I'm shooting that, yeah. Yeah, you can try and man the AA guns, but it's not really going to help you much. And our guns have overheated. Yeah, you can see how kind of hit and miss these missiles are. They're really not that great. Don't know if they get better once we upgrade our our craft. I know the machine guns get a lot better. They start firing a lot bigger bullets, should we say? A lot more impressive-looking bullets. And on top of that, we have two more cannons as well. So not only do we fire more bigger bullets, we have extra guns. Right, let's go shake this guy down. And then we will go do that mission. So it's like two and a half thousand, I think we could bet last time. We can't zoom in with this plane, unfortunately. Some of the aircraft you can actually zoom in. They have snipers. Oh, nice. Now you can actually still shoot these guys down, even. Ah, we need the missiles. There we go. You can still shoot those guys down, even once they've surrendered to you. There's, like, no point in doing it. There's no police in this game either, so you can just keep doing this forever, basically. Which I always thought was a bit strange. Or maybe I didn't think it was strange back in the day. But I definitely think it's strange now that there's no penalty for... Blasting all of these guys. It's really weird. But I would like to see a fully open world version of this game brought back. I think that would be great, considering Microsoft owns this property. There's got to be a market for these sort of games. I mean, Ace Combat, the new Ace Combat did really well, even though I don't own it. Which is weird, because I love Ace Combat. So, I will pick it up eventually. 
Okay, let's go try our race. Let's go back to the Pandora, reload all of our weapons and go back to the race. I'm sure as well on the original Xbox it didn't load this quick. In fact, I'd put money on the fact that it didn't load this quick. It's so fast snapping through the cuts um through all of the loading screens. It's really cool. Makes playing this game again really good. Hey Zachary, welcome to the Bandit Rush Challenge. Think you can top my time? How much should we wager? Yeah, so the more money we have, I guess the more we can wager. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. So we're going to intentionally do this quite slow, at least to start with. Because I think we can do this multiple times. I think. Not 100% sure. And if we can do this multiple times, then I'll probably do it a couple of times off camera, just to earn some money. Now... The only thing you use the money for is upgrading the planes. So, it's not super important to have lots of cash. But it is rather annoying having the tokens to upgrade a plane and not having the money. But I don't think that that's ever going to happen. Because tokens are rather limited, whereas money isn't. But I think we need money, thinking about it, for certain missions. Yeah, we did that easy. I'm pretty sure we can go back and do that again. Maybe we can later. Yeah, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Who are we going to bust up, Bessie? Where are they? Let me at him. We've got 20 missiles. 20 missiles ready to go. You can see everyone else flying around in their fancy planes. And you can destroy them as well. And again, there's no penalty. Sometimes they say funny things when you blow them up. Like, well, today's not my day. Alright, let's go make some mess. Boom. Hey, fellas. Welcome to the party. I don't know why they've just spread these fuel tanks out everywhere. Seems a bit weird, but hey, whatever. I suppose that's why we're here. Teaching them a lesson. Oh, God. And I must say as well, the flying mechanics in this game have held up really well. It, it feels great to play, even now. The planes are really nice and responsive. The weapons feel punchy. <laughs> really, Zachary. Really. Yeah, so we're Nathan Zachary. Better make that clear. Oh, God, he's not having a good time. Oh, come here, you bastard. Because that's one thing that confused me when I was a kid. They kept calling us Zachary, and I'm like, wait a minute, I thought we were called Nathan. But no, it's Nathan Zachary. All right. Boom, baby. Alright, where's the next? Oh, God, hello. Oh, hey. Who's uh, who's counting their carbon footprint? Huh? Huh? Not me. Not bad. Not bad. Where is that one? Ah, it's probably above the rocks. I really like these uh, maps as well, especially this one. Oh, hello. I'm pretty sure America in this game isn't America as it was in the 1930s either. I think America is quite fragmented. Yep. They're more a collection of mini countries. With completely different governments, I think. Ooh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, there's only a couple left. We got them. We got them. Come on, Betty. Let's get some teamwork going. Yeah, man. 
Oh, up your ass with broken glass, mate. Not bad. <coughs> yes. I like the way Nathan doesn't really give a shit about Betty. Her plane is on fire and she's exploding and he's like, yeah, better get that checked out, I suppose. Would be rather horrible, I guess, if you died. So, let's go take this blimp. Let's go take this guy. Yeah, it looks like we can do that again. Let's go double check. I wonder if the route's harder. Yeah. Why not? You're on, Zachary. Let's go. We've got a minute to do it. Pretty sure we can do that. Just gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. I still haven't seen Sonic yet either. Apparently we're gonna go see Sonic on Monday. Although, by the time this video goes up, that will be quite a while ago. Come on, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. 30 seconds. And we're out of go juice. There we are. You know, the music's not quite as bad as I remember, to be honest. It's alright. There we go. Yep. That's the last one. Yep, we can easily beat that again. As you can see, money is not an issue because I could easily go and do that one again. Alright, let's go see what's going on up here. Nathan, I could use your help. Big John. Been looking all Look at the over. graphics, man. Yeah. Really? Well, we're going to put a stop to that, me laddos. Nation of Hollywood? Huh. <laughs> well, call me the goalkeeper. Let's go to work. <laughs> yeah, let's see how good these Hollywood chumps are. Well... So far, you're being defeated by what? One gun turret? Which is pretty poor, if you ask me. Oh god, we're actually taking some heat now. These gun turrets got a nice punch to them as well. We'll be having lots of gun turret action. Which I don't mind. They're nice and punchy. Who's next? You! The nation of Hollywood, huh? Interesting. I wonder if they're still making the films. There we go. Yeah. Well, I'd imagine it wouldn't hurt. You'd be dead before you knew it. Just getting hit by these things. Well, that was easy. If you heard, but we got the Pandora back, and she's in need of a pilot. I'm the man for the job. Let me finish up here. I'll meet you at the Pandora. Hey, good to have you back, Big John. Well, that gives us John back. Well, that was fun. Oh, we can't quite reach out and touch this guy. Oh, yes, we can. Surrender your cargo. And <laughs> this is so okay. We can just, like, wail on this guy from all the way down here. Alright, let's get out of this turret. So, there are plenty of turret sections in this game. And you can actually commandeer turrets, basically, when you want. Might as well shake this guy down, he's almost gone. And there are a few different ones. Usually, when you have a turret section like that, 
<clears throat> you can push B to cycle between them. And there are different types of turrets as well. You've got the big quad cannon ones. You've got those ones. And I think there's missile turrets as well. Okay. So, what's next? So, we can go to the Pandora for a mission. But we don't want to do that just yet. Uh, we have taken a little bit of damage, but nothing too bad. Certainly nothing to worry about. Okay. Now, there was a nice juicy little plane down here. Ooh. Hey, what have we got over here? Ah, look at that. Got whales. That's really cool. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of detail around if you want to fly around and find it. So, mission here. That means there's a plane to steal. Let's have a look. Ooh. What's this thing? For 12... Yep, yeah, you can upgrade this plane in the Pandora. Nice. Okay. Oh, and it's got kind of like a shotgun type thing. Ooh. That's quite interesting. I missed this plane when I was uh, playing before. Ooh. I like. This is like a heavy assault plane. Because there are different classes. Shotgun is quite interesting. I don't remember having a plane before with a shotgun. Alright. So, if we return to the Pandora. I'm guessing we now have that plane. Yeah, we do. Okay, so you can miss planes. So, that's the Bulldog. You can upgrade it. Yeah. So it's really fast. It doesn't have a lot of defense. And its weapons are fairly good. Okay. I think we're going to stick with the Devastator for now, though. Because that is my boy. I do like me the Devastator. Holy shit, guys. You can actually miss planes. I thought you got all of the planes, actually, as part of missions, but... I guess not. It did seem quite fragile, though. Two stars of durability. That's not a lot. This one is quite tough. But then, the Devastator is... It's like a mid-range plane. It's good at everything. Yeah, so it's back there again. Okay, well, let's go find ourselves a Hollywood scout boat. A nation of Hollywood, eh? That's going to take some uh, getting used to. Ah, oh, hello. Well, you're not quite as inconspicuous as you think. <laughs> oh, God, they're everywhere now. Is that right? Oh, God, there's loads of ships. Ooh, I think we got him. Maybe the bulldog will be good here. I don't know. I can't. I, yeah, I'm not sure about that shotgun. You know. Oh, hello. I wouldn't mind one of their planes. They've got like that whole delta wing thing going on. Look quite cool. Come okay, on. I don't know if you get any jet aircraft in this game either. Ooh. <laughs> See you in hell, friend. Alright, let's put this one down to Davy Jones' locker. There we go. You're gone, buddy. You're gone. I don't think Sea Haven has any interest in joining the Empire. Or the Nation of Hollywood, I should say. Ooh, hello. Little patrol boat. Down to the bottom with ya. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. 
Come on, baby. We're good. Yeah, this thing ain't too squishy. Luckily. I think if we were in the Bulldog, we'd be in trouble by now. Good night. Also, when you get close to the flames, check out the particle effects that you get coming out. They're really cool. Well, that's Hollywood repelled for another round. We could do that again. We could get fixed up, I suppose, but... Yeah, why not? Let's go get patched up. It's only 200 bucks. Alright, let's go see what Big John wants now he's back. Oh, there is a mission. Here, though. Ah, the black and white buttons don't do anything. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks like there's only one other mission on the map. And that's this one. Right, what's the plan, boys? Hey, Big John, what's the story? We got offered a sweet deal to move some cargo for a local arms dealer. Think you could fly escort? Yeah. Now, in these missions, you can either fly escort, or you can jump into one of the turrets. Which is really cool. I like that. So there's a couple of different ways of completing missions. Hollywood Militia, 12 o'clock. This is the Hollywood Militia. Surrender your cargo. These guys. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we have... We've got quite a few gun turrets on this thing. Oof, this is getting heavy. Might be a better idea to have some fighter support, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We got this. Let's switch out. That's more like it. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, if you destroy the wing commander, that does lower the morale or something. I might be thinking of a different game, maybe, but... I'm sure there's a reason they mention that they're the wing commander. But then they're not highlighted in any way on the map, so... Or differently, I should say. Come on, buddy. But so far, I'm thinking this game's held up pretty damn well. I'm having a blast, pun intended. Nice. Definitely getting used to the controls, at least. Although it did help that I had that failed LP. I could use a little room. Which is the first failed LP I've had in a while, actually. Ooh, oh, God. Man, I can't wait till my new computer is ready. Gunboats, you say? Oh. <sighs> nah, we don't need the cannons. I got my Devastator. I can't wait to upgrade my Devastator, to be honest. What am I looking for here? Ah, I'm looking for flames. Pandora's looking like she's getting quite scorched. But she should be okay. Come on. Come to daddy. There we go. You're burning, buddy. Lovely. So, I guess these guys are trying to encroach on Sea Haven for reasons. Trying to be the police. Yes, you are. You're going to be going into the deep blue in a minute, pal. Oh, hang on. I reckon those are the boats down there. Yeah, the boats can do a lot of damage, actually. Let's get rid of them. Forgot about those. Ooh. Zeppelin. We got a militia set closing in. Let's go destroy this. That is probably a threat to the Pandora. I say probably. 
Now you got to be careful with this guy. Oh, we're taking serious hits. Ow. Yeah, we got a serious engine fire. Uh. Right, let's get out of it. Now, there is a reason. We do want to take that Zep out. Not just because it's our mission. It does actually have a token. So I think there are some bonus tokens spotted around the missions, but I don't know if I can get all of those. I'm hoping they're not easy to miss. Now that's the advantage of the repair bays. You can go and repair during combat. Right, let's light this guy up. Let's take out that missile tower. He's gone. See if we can pick off some more turrets. Yeah, more turrets there. Nice. Okay, maybe not. Now you're gone. Right. He's got to be fucked now. Yeah, he's fucked. There, that's what we want. That's what we want. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Yes. Token achieved. So we could probably upgrade another plane. Nice missiles. Just what we wanted. Come on, buddy. You must know you're screwed. Like, literally, we've just destroyed your entire force and your Zeppelin. Cheeky bastard. That swamp rat. Probably looking to sell it for a little quick cash. We gotta find him, boss. Nathan, there's a boat captain, Eddie Darling. He'd know where to find Thibodeau. Try his dock inside the main harbor. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Hmm. Good. Send someone to pick up Betty. I'm gonna see if I can track this guy down. Hurry, boss. Yeah, don't worry. We'll get your plane back. One way or another. Right, let's go see if we can hunt this guy down. We're actually on half an hour already. Almost. Damn. Hmm. Alrighty. So that actually ends. Oh, that was actually quite good timing. Yeah, because this ends a ship without a captain. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at our fleet. See what we've got going on. Protect Eddie's ship as he escorts you to. Oh, yeah. I remember. We can't actually. We're not actually flying in this one. Man overboard. So I think that's actually a good place to end it, to be honest. So when we come back, I think we're going to kick our friend in the nuts. And take uh, Betty's plane back. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.